Hey, what's up everyone? In this tutorial, I'm going to install VirtualBox and configure it. So we're at virtualbox.org and you're going to go to Downloads. And since I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to click on the first selection here. And I'll save it. Alright, once it's done downloading, run it. click on next accept the agreement and you can leave all of this alone click on next and click on next again and this is just gonna let you know that it's gonna disconnect your network card temporarily uh, but it's gonna bring it back okay so now Windows is telling you that this program wants to install uh, a device and you can go ahead and click on install it's just the uh, USB drivers so that when you plug in a USB device the VirtualBox will recognize it and apply it to the uh, virtual operating system so just go ahead and click on install for the USB and network adapters alright and uh, now that our installation is finished we can go ahead and click finish and it's gonna start the VirtualBox. Alright, so this is the VirtualBox program and now we are actually going to start a new operating system and we're presented with a wizard. So we just click on next and we'll call this operating system Fedora Linux and we'll click on next and we want to allocate some memory. I would suggest using at least one gig if you only have one gig then use a minimum of 512 but I have four gigs here and I'm gonna allocate one gig to my virtual machine so I'll click on next I'm gonna leave boot hard disk check and create a new hard disk and a uh, dynamically expanding storage basically means that it's gonna allocate a minimum of about maybe 10 gigs of space and as you run out of space it's gonna expand that 10 gigs to 12 gigs or 20 gigs or however much storage that you have the fixed size is basically it will set aside however much you specify say for example 20 gigs it will set aside that uh, on your machine here and uh, once it gets filled it'll just stop it, it'll tell you that it's out of space because you only allocated 20 gigs but uh, I'm going to leave it at dynamically expanding storage. It does uh, affect the performance by a little bit, but I'd rather have the uh, dynamically expanding storage versus the uh, fixed storage because uh, I don't want to use up a whole lot of uh, disk space. So I'll just click on next. So this is the initial size of the hard drive that I'm going to set it at. So I'm going to start it off at 8 gigs and once I reach that 8 gigs it's going to expand more to whatever size I uh, fill it up to and that's it now I'm going to click on finish finish again and so here's the basic layout of what my system will run on hardware wise and I'm going to change some things first thing I'm going to change is I click on settings here under system the boot order I'm going to uncheck this and bring it down and so the first boot order that I want is going to be the CD DVD I can leave all of this alone the processor since my system does have two processors it's a dual core system I'm going to change this to two and hardware virtualization I'm going to enable because my processor does support uh, virtualization technology and for display I'm going to allocate 128 megabytes of video memory and I'm going to enable 3D acceleration and 2D acceleration. For storage I'm just going to leave this alone. This is fine just the way it is as well as the audio and network. Serial ports I don't have any on this laptop so I can leave that alone. And the USB I'm going to enable the USB controller and shared folder just basically means that if I add a folder it will you'll see it both on the operating system which is going to be Fedora Linux and you'll also see it on my Windows machine alright so once I'm done I click on OK now once I start 
it's going to boot up and the first boot order is going to be the CD-ROM drive. So I need to make sure that I have the Fedora Linux disk inserted. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the video tutorial on installing and setting up VirtualBox.